So now let's do an engineering economics FE top question for expected values. So we know these expected values relate to the return we can expect after taking some kind of action. And when we are looking at engineering economics, we're mostly concerned with cash flows. So we will attach a probability to each cash flow case, just like what we have here. And the end goal is to compare the two alternatives. So if we read the question, we're told we have a fabrication company intends on buying an industrial CNC machine. The machine is expected to have a useful life of 10 years. The company's MARR, minimum annual rate of return, used to evaluate equipment investments is 10%. So the MAR value is 10% for this company. So that's the minimum rate of return the company wants. It's 10%. So due to uncertainty, two possible cash flow alternatives are compared. So we have alternative one and alternative two. And we're, to, we're asked here based on the expected present worth. So we're going, converting everything to the present. Which alternative should the company accept? So which one would be most optimal when we compare just these two alternatives and we have to choose the alternative and how much we saved with respect to the other alternative. Let's say we chose alternative one, how much did we save? Or if we chose alternative two, how, how much did we save in terms of alternative one? So that's what we're doing here. And we know the basic definition that we have to understand for expected value Let's just write that as expected value is going to be simply the probability times the event. So it's the probability in this case, which is given for each alternative. So it's going to be the probability and we're looking at cash flows, right? So we're looking at money, the probability of this occurring times the event which is the amount we spent so let's say this is the first cost this is how much we spent this is the annual this is how much we get this is the cost how much we lose and this is the salvage value in the future for alternative one so it's the probability times the event and we'll just call the event a cash flow so it's a cash flow so that's the expected value. So what we're going to do here is first look at alternative one and determine the expected value of the cost of the first cost. All we do is take the negative 40,000 times 0 0.3. We get an expected value. We do that for the saving. We do that for the annual cost and we do that for the salvage value. Then after doing that, we can convert everything back to the present worth and find out how much we need to put down at present. How much money do we need to put down right now? So we do that for alternative one and alternative two. Then we compare the two and see which would require less amount put down at present. And that's the end goal here. So before I do all of that, I'm going to write the basic equation that we're going to use for both alternatives if we want to convert back to the present worth. So the present worth PW is going to equal to the first cost and we know this is negative because we lose, right? So this will be negative. This is something we put down from the point of view of the company right then we have we add how much revenue or profit we have so i'm just going to call this revenue then we're going to multiply this by the p a so we're converting back to the present given annual so from annual to present and we know this is at 10 percent at 10 years so it's 10 percent because that's the m-a-r-r -R value this is 10 percent and the end value will be 10 years so this is the end value this will be our i value 
So that's going to be important. So 10%, 10 years. Then the last thing we have to add is the salvage value. So we add the salvage value and we know the salvage value occurs in the future. So we're going from future to present. So we're coming back to the present from the future and it's at still 10%, 10 years. So this is the general equation we're going to use for both alternatives. So let's start with alternative one. And what we're going to do is find the expected value of the cost, expected value of the savings, expected value of the annual cost, and expected value of the salvage. So the expected value of first cost will be simply what? We just take the probability times the cash flow, right? The probability is 0 0.3 and the cash flow is negative 40,000. So keep that negative. So let's just do negative 40,000 times the 0 0.3 and we get negative 12,000. So these are all units of dollars, right? So then we have the expected value of the annual saving. And for that, we do the same procedure. So we just take that value there, how much we saved is, is 2,000. It's positive because we saved this and we multiply it by the probability of still 0 0.3. So we take the 2,000 times 0 0.3 and for that we get 600. So we keep doing the same thing. We expected value of the annual cost, how much do we lose and this is a cost value so it's negative so it's negative six seven thousand times zero point three so negative seven thousand times zero point three and for that we get negative two thousand one hundred and the last one is the expected value of the salvage what's the salvage value and we know we take the four thousand for alternative one times is 0 0.3 and for that we get 1200 and it's positive so we just did all the expected values for alternative one so one thing I want to note here is we could have just taken the saving or the cost minus the saving so obviously we have more cost than savings so we have a negative so we're not profiting here so our revenue will be negative so it, that should essentially be the revenue, right? If we take the difference there, this is the revenue. So we, you could do the math here and call that the revenue, then mul multiply it by 0 0.3. But here, what we can do is just take the difference between these and that will be our revenue. So this is the revenue. And it's negative because the we incur more costs than saving, right? So that will be the revenue there. So the expected revenue in this case should be that difference. And I believe I'm just going to attach that in the equation, right? So I'll just do that that way. I'll just do the 600 minus this value and plug it in here when we use this equation. So that's alternative one. Let's do alternative two. So you just do the same thing. You do the expected value first cost for alternative two. And all we do here is take the negative 40,000 times 0 0.5. And for that, it's just half of that value because it's 0 0.5. So we just take half, so it's negative 20,000. So you just do the same for the rest. Expected value of the annual saving and for that we should get 1750 then you keep going expected value of the annual cost and for that we should get negative 2500 again all i do there is go alternative to the cost this value negative 5000 times 0 0.5 you just take half then the expected salvage value for alternative two and you get 2,500. 
So now we have the, all of the expected values. This is the first step you should always do. Convert everything to an expected value. Then we just use our normal equation there. We're used to when we're looking at cash flows. So let's use this equation for both alternatives and find the present worth. So let's look at alternative one first. So the present worth of alternative one is going to equal to the first cost, the first cost expected. So make sure to put the expected value that we have. So it's going to be the negative 12,000. So we put the negative 12,000. It's negative because we lose this money initially. Then we add the revenue here. So we said the revenue is just the difference between the annual saving and the cost. Here we have more cost than savings, so we should have a negative value. So we take the 600 minus the 2,100. And then we multiply by this, right? What's this? We have to use those tables. So we're going to the present from annual. So it's an annual revenue, right? We have this annual every year for 10 years. So we go from annual to present, and we can use the following table. We're looking at 10%. The I value, the MAR value for this company is 10%. We go to the N value of 10 years. 10 is here. And we're going from annual to present. So we would choose this, right? Annual to present. We want to convert everything back to the present. So we use that value. And that's what we plug in here. So we plug the 6.1446. So then we add this the salvage value is something we incur in the future actually we gain this we do not lose this this is a salvage value in the future so we receive this so it's always positive so it's a future value and we but we want to convert it back to the present so it's a future value that we convert to the present and the value for that that we will use is this right we're going from future to present so that's the factor we have to multiply specifically in here. So I plug in the salvage value. So it's 1,200 and we multiply by the factor 0 0.3855. So the present worth of alternative one should be about negative 15,224.16. Again, this is uh, units of dollars, right? But it's negative because we have to incur this at present. This is how much we have to put down. So that's the first alternative. Let's do the same for the second real quick. So the present worth of two, you do the same steps and the factors will not change. This equation will apply for both alternative one and alternative two. The N value and the I value don't change, meaning these factors will not change. But what does change is the probability, which in turn changes our expected values, right? So we plug in this negative 2,000, no, negative 20,000, the first cost. Then we add the difference between these, which is the revenue. So we take the 1,750 minus 2,500 then we multiply by the factor it's the same factor so it's 6.1446 close parentheses then we add the salvage value which is this so it's two thousand five hundred dollars and we multiply by this factor 0 0.3855 so the present worth to alternative two is going to be about let's see negative twenty three thousand six four four point seven zero. so this is how much we have to put down if we chose alternative two based on the expected values so now let's answer the question which alternative do we choose one or two based on the present worth values so to me i would want to pick the one with the less amount of money that I have to put down, right? So we would choose this one. 
and we know how much are we saving you just take this value minus this value so we're gonna save about eight thousand four twenty when you take that difference so let me double check that so let me see so we take twenty three thousand six four four point seven zero oh, minus fifteen thousand two two four point one six yes it's about eight thousand four twenty and that's how much we're saving so essentially we would choose alternative one based on this probability and expected values and we save about this much at present when we compare that to alternative two so that will be our answer i hope that made sense thank you